Guys, it's choose to 5,000. I got the uh, yellow painted by about uh, 20 minutes, half hour ago. This is what I've got done on the uh, tractor as of now. I've got to wait for my parts to come in and uh, I'm not going to put the engine in which is underneath this until I get my tires on. Because I want to have it on the ground before I put some more weight on it. Is the mower deck? It's a, it is kind of beat. Um, doesn't have any baffles left except that little piece, but uh, and it's kind of getting rotted a little bit here and there. A couple pinholes. I did fix the uh, big uh, big giant hole that was in it. I know it's probably not the best way to do it, but uh, it works. I mean, it's not as bad as some of them. I mean, if you you want to see a bad deck? I got one outside. It's from a Bolins. It's pretty bad. It's got some giant patches in it and it just looks kind of horrible. But uh, yeah, this one doesn't look that bad. It's not as bad as a Bolins deck. <clears throat> so, uh, looks pretty nice. Nice and shiny. Got to, I actually had quite a bit of extra paint when I mixed it. I got pretty much three coats on the entire thing inside and out. So it uh, should be uh, good and heavy. Didn't see many runs. Actually, I don't even think I saw any runs other than what was probably in the paint before. And you got all the yellow painted, got the spindle housings, got the rims. I didn't do the inside. Uh, the inside's got the factory uh, like stampings and whatnot. And uh, I like to keep that stuff in there just because. Is the face on? Look pretty nice. Here's the shields. I don't want to open the door. I want to keep making dust. But uh, yeah, they look good. Got the black oiler pulley arm and the spring. That is actually that's all new. Um, the stickers are still on them, so that's that's nice. Here's that shield. Pretty reflective, not uh, no clear coat or anything. Um, just all paint. I'm not gonna clear those. There's the other rim, look pretty good. Got some linkage. I just gotta clean up the uh, tag here and a couple other hardware. This deck is a H048D30688. Some other bolts. I gotta get some shoulder bolts and some uh, rear rear deck wheels. Uh, the ones that came with it were mismatched and they're pretty wore out anyway. So uh, I don't know. Might not even have the deck on this uh, for a little while. I kind of want to mess around with the uh, rear hitch here and. Uh, See what I can do with it. I don't know. I got that cultivator upstairs. Let me uh, show you guys that. I don't think you have seen that yet. Um, here's uh, got my tires, my rear tires. Waiting for the front ones. Um, new grill emblem looks pretty nice. Nice and big too. I didn't think they were that size. Uh, my 200. Series deer didn't have one that big, and neither did the uh, 317. But uh, yeah, looks good. Tires, the hood. I gotta redo the hood. Kind of rushed the paint when I um, sanded out the drips that were in it, and I got a bunch of like lines and stuff in it now. So I sanded it, so. Uh, not have to wait a good week. You can see some stuff here. I mean, it's not too horrible, but I can do better than that. I should have just left it before with the runs in it, but uh, I got kind of picky with it. So, uh, let's see. Uh, yeah, there's a couple Cub Cadets here. I don't know. Got to have a mixture of John Deere and Cub Cadets. There's a John Deere push mower. That's uh, all run redone. I did that. Let me show you guys that cultivator. It's outside, it's kind of rusty, but uh, well, if anyone wants an 
an older uh, Briggs engine. I got a, I got a couple here. I got like six, six or seven. Maybe I'll have a video on one of them. There's a four horse one I ever did. If anyone's uh, looking for a video on that, I should probably do one of them. Let's show you guys uh, a dump truck that's getting further along too. Here's that cultivator. If you guys saw the videos on my 1450, this is pretty much exactly the same one. Um, I don't actually think this is any different. Nope, this looks all the same. And, uh, yeah, I'll probably go through this next. I'm not sure what color it used to be. I think they were, were white. You can kind of see white there. And, uh, probably get that all good looking. Uh, I got another deck here I'm going to do. Another deck. There's that Bolong's deck. I'll show you patches. You want to see patches? Here's, here's good patches. You got one there. You got one there. You got one here. There's a little one there. And there's one there. Uh, there's another one there. There's two there. Yeah. So uh, you, you want to talk about patches. This one is pretty bad. So um, I do like these skids underneath here is pretty pretty good idea but all these baffles are, are something somebody put on so uh, yeah good stuff don't have much for John Deere accessories though but uh, yeah I'll probably end up doing this sometime here I'm not gonna do a uh, total bang up job um, it's just gonna be a kind of a quick thing just want it to look good just gonna get all dirty anyway. The one on the other company that I painted this uh, IH white, and uh, I think they're actually supposed to be just a regular gloss white. And uh, paint the those little tines in the bottom. I paint them black, and uh, it came out pretty good. So if you guys want to see one, um, there's that Bowlands. Uh, there's uh, one on my 1450, and. Uh, yeah. So, uh, hey guys, if you uh, you see anything else in the video you want me to take a video of, let me know. Um, I got one on those two. Haven't done anything on the 70 yet. That's a uh, gonna be something next to fix or my Bronco. So uh, yeah, kind of dark in here. Well, if you want, guys want to know what the tires are, they're, uh, uh, these are D-Stone. Yeah, I believe these are D-Stone. Yeah, these are D-Stone, 23, 10, 5, 12. And these are, uh, Super Traction Tread, I think. Super Extra Grip. And, uh, got them on eBay. I think they were like 150 delivered, somewhere around there, 160. And uh, I got matching front tires with the uh, same tread. So hopefully those will come in today or tomorrow. And then uh, it'll look like a four-wheel drive tractor. It's going to look pretty nice, I think, when I'm done. And uh, it's steering wheels. There's a couple things there. And uh, need to get a new hose and... I have to get a new molded uh, ground cable because that one, the uh, clamp here is it's only held on by a couple of uh, copper strands. So, alright guys, hope you enjoy all this here and uh, I guess some more when I get further here and or I'll do a uh, video on uh, my new parts. Oh, there's a seat. This is from Tractor Supply. And uh, they're about a hundred bucks a shot with the, you know, you gotta add tax, obviously. But uh, that's what I buy. John Deere seat's about a hundred and sixty ish, and it's just a high back seat. Those seats are much nicer. That's what the 1250's got. Same exact thing, but it's gonna be yellow cushions and it'll be black the rest of it, whereas that one I painted that white uh, to match the tractor. So. Um, they're nice seats. They're pretty comfortable and for a hundred bucks You won't really find any nicer seat than that with the slides 
So you'll guys see it. You'll see it on the 300. I'm done. So hey guys, see you later.